the shift from the physical to the virtual or back um, could be seen, of course, across not only book buying and uh, banking, but across any any social activity, at least any social human activity. Um, so, w- when you look at what's happening and focus on the experience of these verbs to learn, to work, to shop, to pray, to play, to exhibit, to punish, to judge, and so forth, you see that. In, in, in the past, you would learn in a classroom, work in a workplace, and so forth. And now you have new uh, virtual environments um, uh, happening. And but what is, I think, striking is that uh, so far we are in a stage where you have a dichotomy. You have an either-or situation. You either do that physically or virtually, but there's really nothing in between. And um, if and maybe to come back to uh, Mr. Ntoko's uh, comment, is that uh, humans will not disappear, but spaces should adapt to those new new users. So the interest and in what I feel should uh, happen is that uh, what we have is a dichotomy. This is a chart showing the uh, increasing virtualization of a physical store. On the top, a completely virt- physical store, and on the bottom, a completely virtual store. So what is interesting is really to explore what could be in between, how the web could be more physical and how physical spaces may become more virtual. Or from an architectural point of view, to what extent could um, can architecture, physical space, become an interface to mediate between physical and virtual activities. If I had to summarize what uh, my interest and work has been in the last 10 years, it has been really to explore that uh, intersection of the physical and the virtual. And this is an, uh, so we build uh, several new types of physical virtual offices, new types of physical virtual classrooms, new types of physical virtual uh, shops, and so forth. And um, if there was something to be generalized, what could this future space be? Then maybe they would have those six characteristics. One is that they are open, that they have a memory, that they are connected, that they can be surprising, that they have a depth, and that they are choreographed in space. Um, this is a little bit abstract. What I would like to do is just focus on the first one, given the topic of this conference and given the limited time. And probably the openness is also the most important of these uh, uh, characteristics of this new kind of space, a new kind of species of architectures. Now, w- what does open mean in, uh, in design, in design of spaces? Um, the, <coughs> the notion of an open design uh, is of course not new, has a, lot, a long trajectory, especially in the arts. Um, Marcel Duchamp wrote in 57 the Creative Act, saying that the viewer is an essential part of any art piece, that it's the viewer who completes the art piece um, through um, an active uh, involvement. And he illustrated that by creating several art pieces. This is the the, the piece called Rotary Glass Plates. It's an, a sculpture that um, is essentially static and the art reveals itself only when the viewer starts to turn those plates. So the art doesn't exist um, without the viewer. It's an open space.